live with the news where you live. 8 News at 6 starts now. A Chesterfield gas station under fire again after the owners forced a miner to work and live at the gas station for years. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. This business was in the spotlight for selling bad gas, costing customers thousands in repairs. 8 News brought you that story back in August, and tonight we're taking action again. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress live uncovering these newest details. Autumn. Eric Deanna, the story full of twists and turns and just disturbing details. This federal complaint showing the owners of this lovely market forced a miner to work for them, then abused him when he tried to leave. And as you said, we've learned this is the same gas station, the same owners that knowingly sold contaminated gas to drivers back in August. Tonight, the owners of the Lovely Market gas station in North Chesterfield, facing up to 20 years in prison, accused of forcing a miner to work for them for three years for free. Evidence shows 43-year-old Colbert Cower and 30-year-old Harman Preet Singh brought their cousin from India back in 2018, promising him an education. But when he got here, the couple reversed course, took his passport, then forced him to work at the store alone for 13 hours a day, seven days a week. A 23-page federal complaint revealing disturbing details about the abuse the minor faced when he tried to return home. Authorities saying Singh pulled the victim's hair, slapped him, and kicked him, and even threatened him with a silver revolver, saying he would be killed if he did not work and no one would find out. The complaint goes on to say the victim was forced to sleep on a mattress at the convenience store with limited access to food and medication. This went on for three years. There is a forced labor element to it. Legal analyst Russ Stone weighing in tonight, agreeing with the FBI that this is an example of human trafficking. This case, however, factually speaking, in my opinion, seems a lot more like what human trafficking actually was historically, um, which is uh, more akin to, frankly, slavery. I'm sure that the government is happy that they were able to get a conviction. And if Singh looks familiar, this is not the first time he's been under fire. Back in August, I interviewed him after he admitted to selling contaminated gas to customers, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Now again, the pair is facing up to 20 years in prison, a $250,000 fine and restitution for forced labor. A sentencing hearing is scheduled for May, of course, we'll keep you updated. Live in Chesterfield tonight, I'm Autumn Childress, 8 News.